You know, it's fun to have an idea. To be able to put that idea down on paper. To see and feel that same idea take shape in wood. In metal. In plastic. Or in leather. And you know I like the feel of a board moving smoothly against a shirt. I like the smell of fresh wood chips and sawdust. The bright glare of a welder. The sharp whine of a power tool. Or the dull tap, tap of tools on leather. I like the feel of a saw, a wrench, a plane, or a chisel. And I feel real good because I'm a craftsman, because I can use my mind and my hands to create. Of course, I don't know if I'd ever tell my buddies all this, because, well, sometimes they laugh when you tell them things like this. Hey, Joe, come on, let's go to basketball practice. Okay, but wait till I finish cleaning up here. Say, you making this? Mm-hmm. You know, this looks as good as furniture you'd buy in a store. It ought to. It's taken me long enough to make it. Kind of slow, huh? Yeah, but I've learned enough in making this one that I could probably make another in about half the time. How do you like this shop, of course, Joe? I like it swell. Why? Well, uh, didn't you ever wonder what good you'd get out of a course like this? Yeah, I did. As a matter of fact, I went to Mr. Barnes, the shop teacher, and asked him about it. He said that with the large amount of construction work that goes on... Today, with the large amount of construction work that's taking place in our country's expansion, we need many more young men who are trained to design our future. We'll need architects, designers, and draftsmen. And Joe, we'll need scores of men who can translate and build those ideas on paper into the actual homes, churches, schools, and factories of the future. We'll need engineers, carpenters, steel workers, and plumbers. We'll need men who can design the machines of the future and men who can build, operate, and repair these machines. We'll need electrical engineers, pattern makers, foundry men, tool operators, and mechanics. And Joe, these are just a few of the occupations I could name. All of these jobs pay well and afford challenges and chances of advancement to the individual. But Mr. Barnes, the courses I take here won't actually prepare me for one of these jobs when I graduate, will they? No, you'll probably need more training by either going on to college or by apprenticing yourself into one of the skilled trades. But believe me, Joe, the basic training you get in these courses now will give you a definite advantage over the fellow who hasn't had such experiences. Well, that's what Mr. Barnes had to say on the value of courses like this. Yeah, but you plan to be an engineer, Joe, and, and I can't see how industrial arts courses will do me much good if I should decide to go into business or something like that. You can't, huh? No. Well, come on, boy, let's go to basketball practice. And meanwhile, I'm going to set you straight on a few of the facts of life. For instance, did you know that no matter what job you go into after you graduate, you'll be able to use lots of the things you've learned in your industrial arts courses. 
If you go into journalism or publishing, the experience you get in printing classes will give you a basic knowledge of those operations. Maybe you'll be a farmer, and knowing how to build improvements around the farm and how to repair all the equipment you use is a must for you in that operation. Or you can go on in your studies and become an industrial arts teacher, like Mr. Barnes. He sure enjoys his work, and he told me that there is always a demand for industrial arts teachers, and they're among the best paid in the teaching profession. Hi, Bill. Hi, Joe. Hi, Mark. But, like you say, what if you should go into business or selling or something like that? Well, you'll still be dealing with material. You'll still have to be able to recognize quality material and quality craftsmanship. If you're in production, you'll have to know what materials and techniques can best be combined to give you a quality product at a low cost. No, nope. Bill, you're going to have to look far and wide to find a job that doesn't in some way or other use industrial arts training. Well, maybe so, but hey, how about the coach? I bet he doesn't. You bet he doesn't what? Oh, hi, coach. Well, uh, well, we, we were just talking... Uh, what about it? When you start making bets on me, I'm interested. Well, we were talking about different jobs in which industrial arts training is used, and, well, Bill thinks... He thinks that coaching isn't one of them, huh? Well, Bill, I took some industrial arts courses when I was in school, and except for some work on the gym floor and knowing a little bit about plastics and some other materials used in sports equipment, actually, it hasn't helped me a great deal in my coaching. See? Wait a minute. I'm glad I took those courses. Oh, we may have worked on Model A's instead of hot rods when I took my mechanics course, but in it, I gained a mechanical interest and know-how that stayed with me through all these years. For instance, when I get in my car to go someplace, I feel pretty confident that in case of minor trouble, I can fix it, or at least recognize its source. Recently, my wife and I bought a home. We felt much sure that we were getting our money's worth because of my experience with industrial arts. I could tell whether good quality wood had been used, whether adequate electrical wiring had been installed. I could tell what interior woods and finishing materials had been used and whether these were likely to stand up under wear. And since that time, I've done a lot of work on the house myself. I built on a new room and made a recreation room out of it. Most of the minor repair work that comes up around the house, I can take care of myself. There are lots of things I'd like to build now, but I just haven't got the time. But when I retire, I'll have a ready-made hobby to keep me busy. And you know, fellows, there's a feel about it that I like, of being able to visualize something and then create it with my own hands. As a matter of fact, most industrial arts courses will help you in sports because they do help you to coordinate mind and body. Hey, this is basketball practice, not a lecture course. Oh, let's go. You know, Joe, I believe I will take a couple of industrial arts courses next year. Fine, Bill. Say, uh, you're no shop man. How do you think my car would look? Well, if I uh, smoothed out the hood and put a new grill in it and, you know, made a real rod out of it. Great. You saw what I did to mine, didn't you? Yeah. Uh -huh.